morning guys. So, one of the things that I spend a lot of time on during my warm-ups is to fire up the posterior chain. So we're talking hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. One of the exercises that I do almost every time I go to the gym is this. So I'll just show you. Sit down at the bottom of the squat. Make sure that you push the knees out, but not excessively. You want to maintain the knee over the toe. So depending on how far out you keep your feet, you want to push your knees out accordingly. What you want to do, you want to sit down at the bottom. You want to make sure that the heel is in the ground. From here, you're going to suck in your belly button. You're going to push the hips up and move back down again. So you want to get a little bit of a dynamic stretch into this. So we're going to go up. Make sure we don't hyperextend the back and back down again. If you start feeling it in your hip flexors, we just stand up, shake the legs, and then we can play around with the positioning of the feet. So we go out a little bit wider, that's gonna make sure that we really open up those hips. We're gonna just go back down again. You might not be able to reach the same depth as you did before, but that's all right. We're just gonna work the different angles of the hip. So when we move the feet out a little bit, we challenge that internal rotation of the hip capsule. And that's something we need to do as well. We want to get full range of motion no matter where the feet are positioned. So same thing goes. Push the hips back. Allow the hips to go through. So if we take a look at it from the side, just scroll over there to the side. We want to make sure that the torso is as upright as possible because that's going to create less torque around that bottom part of the back. A lot of people complain about that, but it's mainly just because they have poor activation of the posterior chain. So we want to get that fired up before we go. We push back and go back down again. And stand. That's it for today, guys.